Okay, so we are setting our timer as we always do, and we are, could you please introduce yourself? Hi, I'm Josh Finkel, a brand new teacher to Northampton High School this year. Cool, and what are you gonna be teaching? I'm gonna be teaching um, computer science and technology. Okay, cool. And now you're a new teacher to Northampton, but you've taught many years, isn't that right? That's true. I just finished my 16th year at South Hadley High School, where I was teaching mostly math and some computer science. Right. And I think that uh, if I'm understanding you correctly, I saw your bio that you're really excited just to teach technology and computers right now. Isn't that right? Yeah, it is. I've taught math and I really enjoyed that. But over the years, I've grown more interested in teaching technology. I used to work in technology in the uh, field or in the real world, as they say, outside of teaching. I've yeah. had a few jobs doing that, and um, it's always been an interesting uh, topic for me. I've always liked to learn more about it, and it's changing every day, so it's it's very exciting thing. Yeah, it's such a cool way, such a great practical application subject. You know? It is. Yeah. It is. I used to say it's the most, I used to teach one computer science course of uh, programming uh, at South Hadley, and I used to say it was the most relevant thing being taught in the whole building, that you could yeah. potentially go out of the high school when you graduate and get a job. No, it's really true. Uh, <clears throat> that's the cool thing about that. You know, my mom was one of the first computer scientists. She was, she mm. was working in the mid-50s, and she had a choice to what, what she wanted to do, and what she really liked about computer, I mean, they called it computer science. I don't even know if they called it that. It was so early. Right. But she liked the fact that either the program worked or it didn't. And so right. there's not like, it's not that subjective. It's either, you know, the code can be more elegant or not, but it either works or it doesn't. And as yes. a woman in the 1950s, she felt like, listen, this is actually a really good field for me to go into because if I can show that I can do the work, then that's it. Right. You know, it's cut and, and dry. Right. It's cut and dry. And so, yeah. you know, you have kids leaving high school who don't go to college who start making really good money right away. Because sure. They can, they sure. Can We've actually got um, the IT Pathways program at the school, which is trying to do that. It's giving kids uh, the opportunity to have internships uh, during their school experience and potentially move out into the field right when they graduate. You can keep studying and work on your degree, associate's degree or master or a bachelor's yeah. degree at the same time while gaining experience and making money. Yeah, that's great. That's great. Now, what do you like about teaching freshmen? Um, well, they're um, new to the school. So while they came off the last year before coming to high school, being kind of the kings of the castle, mm -hmm. they're back at the beginning now. So yeah. um they're just at that place where they're starting to become adults, I think. They're very young adults, uh, so I like watching that transition. I love being able to establish those relationships that um, I'll see in the school for four years. And uh, they're really just taking in a lot. You know, they're excited, they're um, scared, uh, but ready, ready to learn. And if they're not all those things, they they could be and should be uh, in terms of learning, getting ready to learn. Uh, it, it's a little overwhelming at first, but um, I like to guide them into feeling more comfortable with their day to day. Yeah, totally. It's fun to watch them grow yeah. over those four years. Um, what would you like as a freshman? How would you describe yourself? Um, I think I was um, curious mostly. I didn't really know what I wanted to do or really what was going on around me. You know, a lot was getting thrown at you. So um, I guess I was curious, overwhelmed, and um, excited. I guess those would be the things. Yeah. I, yeah. I totally get that. I feel like it was such a blur to me. Ninth yeah. grade. Uh, I don't. I don't know how conscious I was of of anything. And it's something I try to remember when I'm dealing with my students that they're in ninth grade. Like <laughs> some of this stuff is is landing, and some of it's just like just not there. Uh, right. So that's okay, and that's okay. You know. Yeah. And I agree that, you know, I feel like the youngest people in the world are kindergartners, freshmen in high school and freshmen in college. Mm -hmm. like those are the youngest people on the planet because they yeah. are starting over and, and they're starting into some big structure that's that they're looking up at. Sure. Um, what advice would you have for students in terms of remote learning this year? If you could give them a piece of advice, what would you say? Um, I guess a couple of things. Um, a lot of it is is left up to you is left up to the student. So self-discipline, it's going to be a big practice in that, you know, usually you get to school and then you're kind of a 
big mob is going from one class to the other and, and the teachers are right on top of you. We're not that on top of you if you're learning remotely. So you've got to stay on top of your game, basically, and your schedule. Uh, so I think that's actually an important and good skill to learn. Yeah. But it's a big transition for a lot of the kids who haven't had that to work with. Uh, same with the adults as well. Yeah. Um, let's see. Uh, I think um, staying physically active is very important. And I don't mean, you know, running a marathon or anything, but just remembering to get up, do some stretching, take some walks outside, just something to keep your body moving. You know, there's a lot of research that says sitting at a desk for an extended period of time is not good for you. Yeah. Um, and in school, you will be in your desk mostly for the block, but you are getting up and switching classes and going to lunch and that kind of thing. And even getting to school is a little bit of exercise. So I think just keeping that in mind is, is a very healthy thing for your brain and your body. Yeah, you got to get that sunlight on your face. Yeah. You know, vitamin D is, is apparently a big, uh, a good thing to be doing right now during COVID is yeah. getting vitamin D. So, and that gets tough in the winter, of course. Oh yeah, definitely. Definitely. I actually have vitamin D drops that I'm using, um, mm. even though I am getting plenty of sun. Um, I think that's great advice. And I think that a lot of the teachers have talked about communication and yeah, you, and, and I like the way you say it. It's, it's hard, but it's a great skill to learn because eventually, and that's a big part of growing up is basically be, you're running your show. You, you know, we're going to be there. We're going to help you. We want to, you to communicate with us. But is, this, is, this is perhaps in some ways the big, the meta skill that you kids will learn this year is how to self-direct. All right. Well, if you're lucky en enough to have Mr. Finkel, then he'll see you in a couple of weeks. Great. Thank you. Good luck, everybody.